Web 8 starts off by asking us to use the user info page to figure out what Kevin's password is. And it's under the section of SQL injection. So we're supposed to use SQL injection to figure that out. Let's go to the user info page. On the user info page, we have a name and a password field. Presumably, we need to know the user's password. We'll first start out by trying to cause an error. We can do this with any of the reserved characters in SQL, such as a single quote or backslash or a bunch of others that are reserved. And when the error message comes back, we'll notice that we're given the query, making this quite a fair amount easier. Copy this query over into a little scratch pad. And this is where the username field lands, and this is where the password field lands. So if you're not familiar with SQL injection, you may want to go ahead and watch the What is SQL Injection video to get caught up to this point. With the injection points established, we would just need a query that would pull back the records in the database. So for example, let's say that we wanted to look up our own account. So I have an account that I put into the application. So I put in my username and password, and it brings back the one row about me. But I want to get all the rows, or at least the row that has Kevin's information in it. So we would need injections that solve that problem. Well, just to get all the rows, we could use a tautology. So we could close out the single quote that's already there. And then we could comment out the rest of the query that we don't want messing up the syntax, and then just put a tautology in the middle. So anything that's not a zero is considered to be true. So you could do something like 8 equals 8, which would turn out to be true. But you could also just put the number 8, because that's not zero. And so my SQL would consider that to be true as well. Now that we have our candidate, we'll take that over. Put that into the username field. Submit the query, and we get back all the records in the database. And we just look for Kevin, and the password is 42. We also could have targeted the Kevin account. So if we come back over here, we could have closed out the single quote there, but put Kevin in as the username. And then we just need to get rid of the rest of the query here. So we need to comment that out. So if we take this and bring it back over, that also works. And it pulls back just that one record. So either way, we can go back and complete the lab now. And for lab eight, the answer was 42. Hit submit, and it tells us that's correct.